Oh, it smells like bubble gum again. No. What the? What is going on, YouTube? Welcome back to another episode of Chance Cheat Days, where it's not actually a cheat day because every day is a cheat day. I am filming today's episode in my room just because I wanted to. It's easier, and I told you guys in my last video that today's episode is going to be a lot different from previous Chance Cheat Day episodes, primarily because of the thing that I'm making today. I have never had this before, never had it, never made it, never eaten it. I just saw this online like a month ago, so I ordered it, and now it's here. Nope. <laughs> this honestly looks like something toddlers would play with, but <laughs> first time I saw this was actually in the Higa TV channel where Will, Greg, and Sean made this for Ryan when he was sick for whatever reason. I know for a fact this will taste nothing like sushi, but that's the fun of it. I wonder what the hell this thing tastes like. And I guess most of the fun of it is also me trying to figure this thing out considering the instructions are in Japanese and seeing how badly I can screw this thing up. So let's do this. I'm gonna try to figure this thing out again. The instructions are completely in Japanese. It is illustrated very well and color coded very well. So we'll just, we'll see. So there's a pull tab here. I just open it here. That's it. Okay, I'll put this aside. It says to cut both sides of the wrapper thing because I guess it's gonna act like it's plate because there's literally plate graphics on the thing. So I wanna make these cuts as uh, presentable as possible. So like that, I guess. So we have a pink packet, an orange packet, a big blue one, a brown one. Oh, I guess this would be the orange packet. So this is like yellow and a green one. And then we have this thing, whatever this is, a dropper, a spatula, I don't know. And uh, the molds of everything. It's <laughs> kind of deformed from shipping probably, but uh, we can make it work. So I need to pour water into number one. And then we drop this in all of this, I'm assuming. <laughs> Well, we gonna find out. Is the other angle really necessary? I don't think so, but I just wanted to try it out. A good second angle would have been like a handheld camera, but I don't have friends, so. What the? I'm gonna get an actual tripod. Hang on. Great, now I got water all over the place. So now, I'm gonna open this up and just pour everything in. I'm not gonna need any more of it, I don't think, so. Just drop everything in. Ooh, that smells kinda weird. It smells like bubble gum. Okay, so this is meant to be the rice. All right, now we have just a big ball of, I don't even know how to describe this. You guys can't even see it. Step two is the, the yellow. And it looks like it's the tamago. I don't know, I'm gonna just follow everything it says. Even though I don't understand a word, I need water again up to the line, I think. Um, all right, so for this one, I'm gonna just pour everything in because I don't want the same thing to happen as the rice where I was like, will I, will I not? So I'll just go all the way for this one. It has a number three. So I don't know if that means like, I don't know. I don't think it's turning into a solid. It's getting thicker. Maybe I need to let it set. Maybe, hopefully, I don't know. The camera died. I don't know at what point it died, but I've been doing the yellow. Now I guess the same thing for the pink. I don't know if it's meant to be salmon or tuna, but I know salmon sashimi is orange. So it's probably tuna, I don't know. I can't read Japanese, I don't know. So I'm gonna do the same thing right beside the yellow. Problem is, the spatula's dirty with the, the yellow. So I'm gonna find a napkin, clean this first. There we go. Again, up to the line. So I'm gonna just pour in the pink powder, same way I did the, uh, the yellow or the tamago. So this is meant to be the fish. I'm gonna just call it tuna. I don't know if it's meant to be any other type of fish, but it's pink, so I'm gonna call it tuna. If it's any other type of fish, just correct me in the comments. Down, okay. 
Oh, it smells good. It's strong, but it smells good. Definitely smells better than every other thing I've smelled so far. More or less the same consistency as the yellow when it was starting out, but the yellow looks pretty solid right now. I guess I'll just need to wait, let this set again for, oh, it's the same, three minutes. Bro, it actually smells really good. It smells like strawberry candy. Yeah, that's probably what it's gonna taste like. And I'm most excited for that, honestly. I think I mixed that well enough. So I'm gonna let that set. Next is this, this eraser looking thing. I'm supposed to roll it on top of something. I'll put this, I'll put this aside. Don't know which camera to look at, but I'll put this aside and let it set. And then I'll do the, uh, the, the next step. So I need this thing again. And apparently I need to align it with this thing right here. Like roll it on top of this thing. And this is the shape that we're going for. Very interesting i don't know it just says to use your fingers there's no tool for this it's a good thing i washed my hands oh it smells like bubble gum again so just stretch this out like this is not a good looking nori i'll tell you that much so that's that um next step is to i need to add water to a and b a and b are the most messed up ones like the molds are the most messed up from shipping so we'll see how this goes so b is smaller than a so this goes in a orange goes in b cleaned it with a napkin again because i'm going to need it for this next step so we've come this far don't screw this up now this isn't turning into a solid Oh, it smells kind of weird. It smells like really concentrated electrolyte powder. Oh, oh, no, I spilled a bunch of it on the yellow. Nothing a napkin can't fix. It's a good thing the yellow is already solid. So there's that. It kind of looks like hot sauce, but it's meant to be. Oh, those egg things, interesting. So I'm gonna need to use the dropper drop it from B to A, and then it's supposed to turn into balls, apparently. Whoa. So I need to be slow and steady with this, I guess, because if I rush it, it's probably not gonna look like a ball, and it's just gonna look like orange turds. Great, it's raining, okay. Everything's done. Now all I need to do is just set everything up, which is, I guess is pretty intuitive at this point. So I'm gonna be able to do two of the tamago, two of the tuna, and two, or no, just one of the uh, the roll. So let's do that. I guess I'm gonna be using my hands again. Divide this into four. Whoa, <laughs> this is very interesting. It feels like rice cake. I'll put this on the first plate, kind of shape it as best I can. Take half of the egg, just scoop it like that. Whoa. Put it on top of this thing. Oh, sh <clears throat> There we go. I'm gonna do the exact same thing. So this one is slightly smaller than the other one. Doesn't really matter though. So next is the fish. It's already in a pretty decent shape, I think. And then just same thing. I'm gonna go down the middle here, and scoop right out. Oh, this is sick. It actually has like the, uh, I don't know what it's called. This actually looks pretty cool. Right on top of there. And then, oh crap. I should have saved some rice. Oh man, should have saved some rice for this guy. I'll take a bit of rice from this guy, a bit of rice from this guy, this scavenging rice. I should have planned ahead. I'm an idiot. So now, I'll just scoop them on. Whoa, this is interesting. Okay. They kind of smell like orange. Oh, spilled some, but doesn't matter. That's, that's that. All right, I have no clue how I'm gonna do a thumbnail for this because I can't just like hold this up to the camera. I'll try that, hang on. No, so that didn't work. I dropped one of the yellow ones and it kind of got ruined, so I'll just eat this one. I'll worry about the thumbnail later. <clears throat> Itadakimasu. What the hell? <laughs> mm. 
Okay, I don't like that one. The yellow uh, <clears throat> doesn't taste good. The rice, surprisingly, actually tastes pretty good. I don't know what it is. I can't tell what it tastes like, but it's not overly sweet. It's not overpowering. I also like the consistency. I don't like the yellow. I don't know what the hell the flavor of the yellow is meant to be. I don't like it though. Time to move on to the tuna. Flavor-wise, this is definitely better than this. I still don't like the consistency. The consistency of these two on top are like jello that lacks some type of component that makes it stiff. I don't know what that component is, but yeah. Now it's time to taste this one, last one. Definitely got a bunch of that fake seaweed stuck in my teeth now, but that actually tasted the most like like a candy Like the the, the black things specifically these egg things. I didn't really care for the black actually tasted like Some type of gummy candy the flavor of the the fake seaweed that was more overpowering But in a good way and I do not plan on finishing these guys My girlfriend said she wanted to try them out. So that's going to her I need to drink like a liter of water after eating all that some of you guys probably know I'm not the biggest fan of sweets I don't have a big sweet tooth. So it's so whatever I enjoyed the entire process of making everything and hopefully you guys enjoyed that as well tasting it Not so much, but I actually have one more of these and it's burger and fries. If you guys want me to try this one out, let me know in the comments. I'm sure there's a bunch more as well. And if you guys want me to try everything, um, or at least the ones I can find online, let me know in the comments and maybe I'll try all of them. But yeah, in terms of actual food for future episodes of Chance Cheat Days, also let me know in the comments what you guys would want me to make. I'll try to make that happen if if I'm capable of doing whatever it is you request. And yeah, for previous episodes of Chance Cheat Days, um, the playlist will be in the comments in the description down below. If you're new to my channel, I do fitness and food related content as well as just other vlogs of fun and exciting stuff that I enjoy. So if you wanna see more of that, please stick around. Please like, share, and subscribe if you want to. And this has been another episode of Chan's Cheat Days where it's not actually a cheat day because every day is a cheat day. I'm out, peace. Whoa.